So in many places around the world, there is uh, vintage car infrastructure, abandoned car infrastructure, motorways like in Cape Town that sort of end and they never finish building it, things like that. Here in Paris, you might have heard about the catacombs, the hundreds of kilometers of tunnels underneath the city. The tourists can go there and have a walk around. That's great. But I have discovered what I'm calling the cartatombs here in Paris. Abandoned car tunnels that really few people know about or very few people use or tunnels that were once for cars in the 1960s and 70s that have now been given over to pedestrians and cyclists and whoever else wants to use them as long as they're not in a car. Behind me there's a sign. It says subterranean. There's a bike pictogram and an arrow pointing down a ramp into the darkness. Let's check it out. bicycle infrastructure. I think this is funny, you know, the whole engineering mentality of the car-centric 50s, 60s, 70s. They have a roundabout around the Arc de Triomphe, which is, you know, 4,000 lanes for cars, <laughs> complete chaos, and still they went, ah, oh, you know what? We need more mobility, so we'll put these tunnels down. If you need to avoid the Arc de Triomphe roundabouts, you just go down and out and you head towards La Défense. And back in the day, there was no La Défense. It was just sort of leaving the city center. That was fun. I like it. This is Tunnel des Tuileries. It's awesome. It's a car tunnel from the old Georges Pompidou Expressway. It comes down by near Concorde, Tuileries, and it comes right out here onto the riverbank, which has been made public space in Paris. It's a huge car tunnel and we can ride bikes through it. That's just awesome. You can ring your bell and it echoes. Come on. Um, I like that. <laughs> That's just insane. That's the stupidest thing, man. <laughs> 